All right, everyone, welcome back. Tom Sakvea back again for Cult of Athena. Today we have a pole arm. People have been asking for pole arms, so you, uh, you got it. Here we go. Arms and armor, English bill. If you're not familiar with the bill, you'll see it has a lot of characteristics of the spear. We have a double-edged, pointy, very pointy tip on this. And we have what the bill is always categorized with, the sweeping up blade. You couldn't tell already just by looking at it. It's pretty damn tall. This thing's 83 inches tall. So it's over four feet. It's like four feet, 12 inches. Don't quote me on that. I have the specs in the, uh, the link below this video. But um, used primarily as an agricultural tool uh, and used in combat, this is actually a very familiar weapon for the English around the 14th all the way up to the 17th century. So that means this thing works. <laughs> and it's very, very versatile. We have the hacking, uh, not like the English, but the, the Italian bill is more of a thrusting one, so you'll actually see the tip is like all the way out here. It's pretty, pretty much to puncture armor and people, of course. But this one, you'll, you'll see more of a slashing with it. Sorry, I like it a little closer. <laughs> uh, you'll see more of like the hacking with it on both sides. You've got the thrusting, of course. You have all the parries with it if you're redirecting it. Uh, but you better be strong, uh, to some degree at least. Uh, this goes in about four, a little bit over four pounds, eight ounces, about just about over four pounds on this one. Very tall, a lot of range. I actually prefer this one over the Italian build that Arms and Armor makes, just personal opinion. Uh, both are constructed really well. However, uh, I like being able to have this swept up tip. Reminds me of a uh, uh, Filipino weapon. And get some panning up and down of it. All right, I almost forgot to mention this is an ash wood pole that Arms and Armor puts on their axes and their other pole arms and their spears. Then we actually have a pin on here pinning the head to the ash pole, which I like rather than having it be just like where you stick it on like old school spears are. You actually have that. So if you are to hit, like do cut testing with this, or if you're thrusting with it. It's just more security to it, and honestly, why not use the modern technology of using that rather than just being like, and like super gluing it? <laughs> that would be no good. Uh, what else can we talk about with this thing? A lot of range. Uh, the back of it, that's, that's what it was. This is not sharp right here, so this is sharp. Just turn it. This is sharp. This side is sharp, like a double-edged spear tip. We have the swedge, which is sharp on both sides. This is a false edge, there's nothing here. And then this is completely dulled out. Now what this is, is the hook. So when you're coming out, I'm not gonna hook you, this is sharp, don't worry. But when you hook this, you're actually pulling someone back in, so if you're to catch clothing, or if you're to surplus around and catch clothing, you turn them right, you need to thrust it right in the face. <laughs> so it's very versatile. If you're really, really good, which I'm sure it happened in combat for someone who's really versatile with pole arms, is when someone's on horseback, if you get a profile of me, look how much range this has. So if somebody's on horseback and you can pull that clothing, you can actually start to reach them. That's, that's why the spear is one of the best weapons in the battlefield. And now, the English bill from arms and armor. Okay, so there you have it, the arms and armor English bill. English pole arm. This thing is awesome. A lot of versatility in this weapon. A lot of range, of course. Nice pointy tip to thrust your enemies into oblivion. So if you like this one, if you want to see more pole arms from Colts of Athena's YouTube channel, go ahead and comment below. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you want to see, as always. And I'll talk to you soon.